Throughout the past couple of years, we've looked into a number of haunted items from the Warrens Occult Museum. From the samurai... <laughs> to the accordion monkey... To the shadow doll, and of course, the real Annabelle doll. But one area we haven't explored, which we're excited to dive into today, is the haunted wedding dress, aka the haunted bride. The haunted wedding dress has been a fan favourite from the Conjuring and Annabelle movies, but its real backstory has been confusing for quite some time. Many have speculated that it involves a runaway bride that was murdered, or a wedding that turned sour. But finally, we found out the real story behind the haunted item. Ed and Lorraine Warren's case files were recently released, which involved a number of the backstories to many of the items at their museum, as well as a detailed explanation of how they should all be treated. One of the items was the wedding dress, which was made famous through the Conjuring franchise. But what is the backstory? Ed and Lorraine Warren wrote that they had heard about a number of deaths that had been taking place at weddings around the same area. These deaths all kept taking place in the same way though, with the bride killing the groom by stabbing him to death repeatedly with a knife. No one suspected it to be the brides at the weddings for a number of the killings, as after the incident took place, there was never any blood on the bride's wedding dresses. After more weddings, with more grooms being stabbed to death, the investigation started to realise that it could actually have been the brides. This was through an abundance of evidence, such as them being the only people in the same room as the groom, with many occasions. The problem was though, there was never any blood on the bride's wedding dresses, which made this conclusion difficult to originally prove. The grooms were stabbed many many times with lots and lots of blood expelling from their bodies, but not one drop of blood on the dresses. It was all so confusing. The police looked into the connections that occurred at the weddings, and they realised that the brides were all connected through the same wedding dress. They had all worn the same wedding dresses at their weddings which caused serious suspicion to the situation. But wait, is this the real dress shown in the Conjuring series? No, this is an image of the real dress that they all wore. To be fair, it's pretty similar. However, at the beginning of Annabelle Comes Home, where the dress is introduced, it's not got any bloodstains on. Let's fast forward it a little bit to later on in the movie. Here we can see the blood, which according to Ed and Lorraine Warren, would disappear after the bride would take off the dress, which would remove their possession as well. Anyway, where were we? Oh yeah, the investigation. After this connection of the same dress being at all of these groom wedding murders was made, demonologists Ed and Lorraine Warren were brought into the case, and they were heavily drawn to the wedding dress. They claimed that a ghost had possessed it, and whoever purchased and wore it at their wedding would have their bodies and minds possessed to then commit the act of murder on their groom with a knife. The reason for this though is still unknown though, or what the ghost has against grooms. Ed and Lorraine obtained custody of the dress, blessed it, and it is currently locked at the Warrens Occult Museum, where it is likely to stay for a very long time. This story has also been explained in the Conjuring comic book, named The Conjuring the Lover, Series 2, The Bloody Bride. If you enjoyed hearing about the backstory to this item, then make sure to check out our other videos to see more. Hit the like button and subscribe with notifications on to never miss any horror entertainment. Until next time horror lovers, peace.